Uh, dear colleagues, dear, um, yeah, what for an afternoon? Um, I think the three speakers we we had the chance to to listen to this afternoon um, have very well um, uh, highlighted how AI within libraries, archives, and uh, museums constitutes a, a, a fascinating challenge, but also a very complex uh, challenge. We have a lot of uh, difficulties. We have a lot of risks. We have a lot of bias. And um, which opens many questions. Um, thanks to Chris, we had uh, we have been uh, uh, sensibilized to the uh, the possibility to uh, to to develop ourselves and our mind concerning the conceptual and the philosophical uh, development uh, or consideration. Uh, we we we. Uh, we can have uh, concerning uh, the collections and the status of uh, of the heritage, in fact, um, because um, thanks to the the digitalization of these uh, of these collections and uh, their conversion into data, uh, we are all um, uh, making uh, this uh, locked and then unlocked, but sometimes. Uh, unlocked heritage, we are making it evol evolving to a more dynamic uh, 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 corpus. So um, these these collections, uh, I like the concept of data as perform performative knowledge. Um, so the fact that thanks to uh, all these trials and all these uh, these developments, the the enrichment of all these data produced uh, and are coming from the the heritage and the interconnection of databases and systems. Um, we we will be able to rediscover uh, within another approach, uh, another on an other uh, into an, an, a new playground. In fact, uh, this uh, this heritage, our heritage. Um, but of course, uh, as everyone is speaking today uh, about AI, machine learning, uh, this kind. This is one of the most uh, the most uh, key key keyword uh, as we as digital humanities uh, 10 years ago, as digitization 20 years ago. Um, we need to structure that. We need to, uh, we need to collaborate all together to, uh, to build uh, something concrete and real um, and not only speak about a concept uh, which could be too large to become, uh, uh, to, to really be uh, concrete. Um, what Marik uh, told us today is that uh, we still need to increase the material. We still need to to increase the collecting process to uh, uh, to, to, con to to continue to build the, the, this big data as laboratory. Um, but of course, we need to do it and to develop tools uh by the the preoccupation uh, of um, producing uh, producing uh, a recipe which remains uh, edible so um and that's that's of course uh, a big preoccupation uh we need transparency uh we need to uh, increase the quality, the consistency of the data, but it's, this is impossible to solve all the problems immediately. So there is, there are many risks concerning black boxes and uh, things we are not knowing or we are not announcing. And when, if we want to um, to go on with the uh, the, the, the development of this uh, this kind of activities. This is very important to be uh, to respect some ethics in uh, in the processes we are uh, 
the, in the process we are follow, uh, which, uh, which are followed by 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 uh, by actors researchers. Um, I of course noticed the question, the crucial question of OCR, the crucial question of OCR, which was one of the main preoccupation within the ADOX project, which remains a pre which is a preoccupation for uh, everyone. Uh, it was also uh, mentioned by uh, Jean Philippe. Um, we now have. A, a, repositories of data repositories uh, set uh, data databases with uh, so many million of images with uh, different levels of quality OCR with different levels of quality um, but up to now the main problems are still alive um, we 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 are we have to face uh, uh, limits limitation uh, that researchers are uh, are um, uh, are facing um, uh, uh, because of the limits of the OCR because of the fact that OCR is not uh, is uh, is not uh, in is not in enough quality. If we only are using the technology, of course, if we are correcting it, this is something else. But this is not fundable. So. Um, and I think that there was uh, finally a very important uh, point. Um, this is the, the difference between experimentations and structural implementation. Uh, so the difference between the R and the R and D level and uh, uh, and the, the, the service service providing uh, level by libraries, archives, and museums and that's that's a very important that's, that's also this is also a crucial question um of course we need to increase uh, collaboration we need to increase uh, a collaboration between disciplines so the in term the, the cross board uh, uh, approach of the research uh, uh, the multidisciplinarity uh, the collaboration between uh, several kinds of institutes heritage institutes universities uh, several uh, kinds of expertise within universities or institutions. That's this is an evidence, of course. Um, all these uh, many uh, all all your presentations showed us that many initiatives, many research projects have have uh, produced uh, significant, interesting, relevant uh, results, which are can be very inspiring and which are very useful to make the research going on and make um, making progresses but many of these realizations remain very difficult to become uh, useful tools for the the white community of researchers and at the end this is the mission of patrimonial institutions like libraries for instance so that's that's uh, a very um, that's a challenge for us i think in the upcoming uh, upcoming years is to better in, interconnect research and structural implementation resources uh, research environments and uh, uh, testing platforms and permanent it staffs which have have the responsibility to set up structural uh, structural uh, technical uh, developments for the whole target audiences. Well, that's uh, these are the main points uh, I wanted to share with you. Uh, thank you very much.